Bear. for clothes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you know that? So today we're going to learn quite a lot. And in studios, we are joined by Mr. Nabok Gabe. He is at the head of Department Sericulture and Textile Technology at Ankole Western Region. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, good morning, viewers. And my name is Naba Fangambe, head of department, uh, culture and textile technology at the same university. Thank okay. you. So, yes. Mr. Ngambe, take us through what it means. Because when we talk about how you can have a silkworm help you make clothes, mm -hmm. how is this possible? Yeah, uh, a silkworm is an insect, like other insects. It's called the silkworm moth. Uh, it lays eggs. Eggs hatch and form larvae, then to pupa, then it is finally to adult. Uh, the silkworm, when, when it is growing in the larva stage, uh, it feeds on a, a type of food called mulberry, mm -hmm. and it feeds it, the mulberry is a crop that is grown uh, by farmers, and in five months, to have already matured, and the silkworm larva feeds on the leaves. And when it is changing into pupa, it produces a thread, which thread yeah, can now be taken and then removed from the cocoon, and then it forms, it, it finally, yeah, the, 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 the cloth is made out of it. Okay, from so that, thread. that happens in the pupa stage? Yeah, it happens in the lava when it's going to the pupa stage. That is when the that's silk when, is? Yeah, that's okay. when it produces the thread. So for those who don't know what a silkworm looks like, that is it. Ew. Don't cringe, don't <laughs> jump, because as not so attractive as it looks. <laughs> People are earning money from this right now in the western part of Uganda. Right. So, uh, hmm. how much thread does one silkworm produce? Yeah, on just a single cocoon, mm -hmm. which a silkworm produces, it produces about 1.5 kilometer of thread in length. Wow. 1.5 kilometers wow. just on a single cocoon. So see. for the communities that are, are being able to, do they rear them? What happens? How do you get, how first of all, how are these people doing this? Yeah, people, what they do, you just after planting your mulberry mm -hmm. garden, then you, you construct a house, just a local house. Those who have money people can, can make uh, good houses, but others make local houses, and then from there they put just beds, just uh, beds where they put old newspapers, and then we give them uh, worms which are still young, and then they put them on the newspapers, and then begin to bring the leaves for the worms to feed on. Okay. For 16 days, they stop feeding, and then they begin making their cocoons, which contain the thread. And then that thread after that, like after six days after, like after mm. making those cocoons, the thread you harvest, and then take to the market. So that thread, once they produce the thread, that thread actually is ready for use or it has to go some processing as well? Yeah, of course the process that takes place is just uh, to remove the thread from the cocoon. Just it is, it is a, the cocoon is just a, a small thing, you will see it in the video, just around. Mm -hmm. Then what you do, you put it in hot water and then look for the end, then you, uh, there is a small machine, there, there even hand, uh, the hand machines, you do like this, and then the, the thread will come out. Just what is the, what is the content out. of the thread, though? N yeah. yeah, those are... So, yeah. so the there thread, it, is right? it is making the thread now. You see, it, it is now constructing the thread. So What's that's the what content of the thread? Yes, so it is making the thread from, from, its, from its chest. Mm -hmm. It spits the thread and then makes a house. It is making a house for the people so you pick to up, survive. So you pick up that house? Yes, you pick and up that when it, it when it is already water? complete, mm -hmm. and you put it in the home water. Warm, you dry it, then you put it in hot water. Then the thread will separate from the gum because now what is making there is the gum. It is mixing the gum mm -hmm. with the thread, so that it makes the complete house. Like What's the content of the thread? Is it wool like the normal thread we know? No, it's normal, normal thread. It is a fiber like normal thread we use in a, in a, in a, in a, just sewing machines. Oh, that's the thin yes. thread. Yes, the thick thread, ah, with the needle. which they make in making the so you call this. Okay, like, yeah, so now yeah. when <laughs> the person is done with that, because I can clearly see that it doesn't require a lot of money for someone to get the silkworm. Do they pay for it in the Western region, or do you give them the silkworm for free? No, we give them the, you know, like a box of silkworms, which we call a box. It is twenty thousand worms. Mm -hmm. We give them to uh, at ten thousand mm -hmm. okay. per box. Mm -hmm. And when the farmer rears that box of silkworms, he gets forty kilograms of cocoons, okay. containing the thread. And each each each, uh, each kilogram 
we buy it at 10,000. <laughs> Therefore, how much money do you think that person, who, after after putting that 10,000 and your rare, that's already 400,000. That is a lot of money. Yes, from one box, mm -hmm. 400,000, which and I bought at uh, 10,000. And how ready is the market for the thread? The market is very, very ready because when you look at, like now, China, like uh, countries like India, like China, like Japan, like Iran, they are really coming to us at the mm -hmm. Shane Farm Association there than looking for the silk even in Japan. Japan has, was the second world producer of silk mm. from China. But mm. now Japan has gone technology. So eventually they are looking for countries like Uganda where they can now pro which can produce the silk thread for them and they are ready to, to give the very high so do, the, do the farmers interface directly with the buyers or now the, the the association now comes as an intermediary? Yes, because when you look at Ankolos and University which I'm heading, right. which is collaborating with, uh, with, uh, with uh, the, the, the Silk Farm Association. Uh, when you look at it, it is like we have a, a university village linkage program called Ankole Sun University Village Linkage Program, where the university look, uh, joins the university and the farmers interface and get, trade, get those, these technologies from the university. At the same time, we build the capacity of the farmers of Shane Silk Farmer Association, mm -hmm. there is a factory, a silk factory there already in existence. Uh, so the interface is that when you become a silk farmer, automatically you become the member of the association. Mm -hmm. So you'll be picking the worms. When you're rare, for instance, like 22 days, you're already in the market. You bring the uh, day one, 16 days, they, they make the cocoons. Then the other days, you leave the cocoons to mature. Six days, then 22 days, you harvest and bring and we pay you. The association pays you. Mm. So the association then, pays. Then it gives then. you more worms to go and rare. Oh, okay. Do they pay for those yes, other the worms that you're going to give them to go ahead and rare? It was going to say the yeah. box is 10,000. <laughs> 10, so buy, the profit that you have gotten, buy more worms and go ahead and continue. Yes. I can imagine that on the Western it's region uh, things are changing. Yeah, even here in Central. Because mm. yesterday we were at Chisozi, Ch Ch Chisozi farm. There is an Iranian called Mamad. Mm. He has a very big farm, about 100 acres of marble and rare houses. So is the Iran is almost investing in Uganda in the same city. Government has already, this uh, starting from last year, Invested over is investing over three billion Uganda shillings in developing a silviculture research center mm. at uh, Shema, uh, the, that at that area where we buy. We have cost, uh, we have the marble now, about thirty acres of marble in place. It is constructing houses for the silkworm rearing, set of the art. Mm. Uh, it is uh, also bringing in more reading units. Reading units meaning the machines, machines that use power mm. to, to remove the thread. So there are, we are, there are more reading units are being bought mm. by government and, uh, by government to, 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 to be make the factory bigger. And even the government is committed uh, to, to give a weaving factory. So that the clothing, instead of exporting the yarn, we make this record from exactly because, because now my question would be is it is it all going to no, this other outside uh, countries some that of you know we're wearing, we're wearing, putting on city. yes we are but but <laughs> but we are buying it from china yes. and the other countries you so know? why should we now give them the thread and then they bring back the, the clothes that's our argument the question so, would be how many how many families would you confidently say that you have actually impacted with regards to their financial status yeah, the families, or of, since the 90s, Silk has been here in large scale since the 90s. And that's when the factory was put there in 2003. Some of us were still in school. But eventually there were some hiccups because of the market. Because by that time we were exporting the cocoons to, to, to outside countries, not the thread. Mm. Until the, the price eventually in the market world outside fell down and then it stopped. Then eventually people who even had the cocoons, had the cocoons had because they rot, had to rot, so people had to abandon. But when you look at the now, as the government, through the Ministry of Science and Technology and Innovation, which is now spearheading this project, together with the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal, Industry and Fisheries, uh, which is also giving a big support to promote their culture, because one of the enterprises in Uganda is supposed to, to handle, they are doing what, all what it takes to ensure that farmers do grow that high cash value crop, right. which is the silk, and gives farmers, gives people a lot of income. You can see in any one acre of my, of the unit plant, one acre of marbury, just you get a farmer gets 12 million per annum. 
It takes about well, less than 32 days. But the, uh, what we talk about is the farmer. Where does the farmer come in? Because like we hatch the eggs from the silk worm research center, we give the farmers uh, the, uh, the, the, the worms at nine days. Mm -hmm. They begin counting day one. Because the other young age is very delicate. Like when the, the poultry farmers know better that the one day old chick is uh, dangerous, is more dangerous. So we, we, we help them to raise them up to a certain level right. where they are a bit mature. And then we count day one, they count day one. For them, they are rare when that, that, that stage, which is a bit, a bit not more complicated. So they rear for 16 days and stop, feed them for 16 days and stop. For them, they move away from the food mm. and go to look for where to make those those cocoons, which are their houses, mm. where the people will grow from inside. So they are the people is prepared to become an adult. So from there, we ha they harvest and then we kill the people inside. Mm. The people, because we kill it because the moment you leave it, it becomes adult and eats up the thread because right. it is now oh. completing the stage. Okay. So what they do, they, we, we, they, they bring and then we, re we remove the thread from there. But when we want the other adults now to lay eggs, just that's another sec section mm. called the silk worm egg production or greenage. We just leave those, we just give farmers the egg, the worms, the rare, then we leave those, we cut and remove the pupa, mm -hmm. and then they become adults, and then we make them lay eggs, which with the other one will take, and then and the next, or those will be, bring the thread. Mm -hmm. So that's another department for it to produce the eggs, which will now give the worms that we now get the thread from. So it's a so whole cycle. Mm -hmm cycle like this and the other benefit of this silkworms is uh, the medical yeah use and aspect of it sure, yeah. just break it down for us because we've already come you know like touched on everything that has to do with the yarn and the fabric and now us getting our clothes yes. now how about the medical bit of it uh, the medical bit of it Surely the silk worm is of uh, great medical importance. I may not, uh, maybe if you can Google, because these days in media, mm -hmm. uh, what we call silk farming, farming of PHA from mm -hmm. pharmaceutical, pharmaceuticals. Uh, silk has a lot of medical uses, even the mulberry crop itself. Being a food for the silk worms, it is also a very good, like this uh, tub of tea we are drinking, some of them are mulberry. Mm -hmm. So we import from uh, this uh, about drug, about, about about food supplements, most of them packed are marble leaves. Right. So, but when you come to the marble, also has medical uses. The silk, the silk worm thread, for instance, it is used as in uh, after operation surgery, after surgery, or the, the stitching thread. Mm. Silk, silk, silk thread is mm -hmm. the best because it is, a, it is an animal product and uh, friendly to our bodies. Mm -hmm, right. Its fiber is friendly to, our, to the body of the person who has been undergone and undergone and mm -hmm. So, on stitching. It is the best because it gives uh, less side effects uh, from uh, after where when it is removed. Mm -hmm. So it is used very well in developed uh, countries. That's what they use in uh, after surgery as stitching thread. Mm -hmm. Any other Plus, benefits? Very many other benefits. Mm -hmm. You can Google it because it is the COVID, <laughs> not COVID's own. I uh, believe we can't okay, it. Okay. It's not its own. The silk farming is the COVID's own. Okay, so thank many you. uses. Thank you so much, Mr. Nabat Nagambe. Because okay. as it stands, yes. all I need is ten thousand Uganda shillings. Good. Do you have ten thousand Uganda? Shillings? Shillings? Mm -hmm. Do you mala? Yes, I do. So I have ten thousand. You have ten thousand. That's twenty thousand Uganda shillings. How many silkworm can we get? Hey, that's already two boxes. Two boxes, two boxes of that, yes. and that could mean we could have a profit of about eight hundred thousand. Yeah, you, you after 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 selling, you get eight hundred thousand. So when you subtract there twenty thousand, twenty thousand, mm -hmm. you get seven seven hundred and eighty thousand right. as your profit. As your profit. Clean mm -hmm. money, of course. Mm -hmm. My goodness, <laughs> really, really clean money. So if you're looking for a business in twenty nineteen, all you need to do is invest ten thousand Uganda shillings, and you could be a part of the silk worm farming bit of things. You are a farmer as well. Mala, let's go be famous. Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> Morning at NTV okay. continues.
play and win every 10 minutes. For every 1,000 you spend, it gives you one entry into the jackpot this Sunday. On MTN, simply dial star 165 star 33 three hash. That's star 165 star 33 three hash. Then enter your three lucky numbers. Then enter your 1,000 shillings. And on Airtel, dial star 185 star 33 three hash. That's star 185 star 33 three hash. Then 